Good day, class. Our topic for today is the human respiratory system. And to be more specific, we're going to deal with the organ breathing system. But before we go through to the deeper discussion, let me show you the learning objectives for today's topic. First, identify the key parts of the respiratory system. Second, describe the functions of each part of the respiratory system. And third, trace the pathway of air in the body. Now, the learning objectives will give us an idea about the flow of our discussion. Now, to motivate everyone to continue watching this video recorded discussion and also to challenge you, let's have this think about it question. Why medical personal examine whether the unconscious victim from an accident is still breathing? So don't be in a hurry answering this question. What I want you to do is to remember this question because this question will be answered through the use of the concepts you will learn later. So again, this is a challenge question for everyone. Now, same with other organ systems, the human respiratory system works hand in hand to the other system in order to maintain homeostasis or what we called internal balance. So it, we really need to maintain internal balance in order for us to continue surviving. So that concept about homeostasis will be further intensified soon as we start discuss discussing other concepts. But the question is, what are the functions of this system, which is the human respiratory system? Now, let's start identifying them one by one. So, respiratory system supplies the body with oxygen and disposes of carbon dioxide. So, we have separate discussion for this particular concept in order for you to strengthen this part. So, this is more about gaseous exchange. Now, if you're going to look on other reference materials, you would see that the main function of respiratory system is more of gaseous exchange. So, I'll discuss more about that soon. Another thing, respiratory system functions for filtering inhaled air. Third, it produces sound or it allows us to produce sound. The second and the third functions, I'll explain that once I start discussing the key parts of the breathing system. Fourth function, respiratory system contains receptors for smell. Another function is that the respiratory system reads the body of some excess water and heat. So this is more about thermoregulation in our body. So kaya you would notice mga anak that that the air that goes inside our body is not that hot same with the one that we expelled out of our body right so this is more about the the function of respiratory system in terms of thermoregulation so the air that goes inside our body is not hot or we can tag it as cold air but not that too cold so once it goes inside our body you would notice that the one that we exhaled okay is hot compared to the air that goes inside our body so again that is another function of our respiratory system and lastly respiratory system functions for helping us to regulate blood ph so in this case Okay, kaya nga, our respiratory system functions mainly for gaseous exchange in order for us to remove the waste material, which is the carbon dioxide. Because if we have, uh, if we increase the amount of carbon dioxide in our body, it allows the blood to become acidic. So we have to maintain, no, we have to regulate blood pH, and that is. Okay, possible if we keep on removing carbon dioxide. So 
these functions will be further strengthened or deepened as we start discussing the key parts and its function for this particular topic, which is the respiratory system. We're done discussing the different functions of the respiratory system. Now, let's take a look in this illustration for us to be familiar with the different parts of the breathing system. So, from what we have here, we have nose, pharynx, lungs, and so on. Now, to give emphasis for this particular concept, remember that these organs, nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, and bronchioles, they are considered to be conducting zone. When we say conducting zone, it provides continuous passageway for air to move in and out of the body. So these organs are just tube-like structure that allows the air to go inside, likewise, go outside of our body. Now, aside from that, the human respiratory system is further subdivided into two divisions. So, we have the upper respiratory tract and the lower respiratory tract. So, using my cursor, this is the upper respiratory tract and this one is the lower respiratory tract. Now, organs for upper respiratory tract, we have here the nose, pharynx, up to larynx. So, upper respiratory tract organs are located in the head up to the neck while lower respiratory tract there are organs here your trachea your bronchi the lungs inside the lungs you would see their branch-like structures known to be bronchioles and at the end of the those branch-like structures you would see uh, somewhat similar with grapes bunches of grapes known to be alveoli so, this lower respiratory tract, the organs, part of it, are found in the thorax or in the chest. So, again, organs for respiratory system are known to be conducting zone. And it is further subdivided into two main divisions or major divisions known as, or these divisions are, the upper and the lower respiratory tract. Now let's start discussing one by one the key parts and the function of the breathing system. So first we have nose and from what you've seen here nose is the only external organ and aside from that in order to keep lung tissue healthy at all times the air or the incoming air that enters the respiratory system must be filtered, moistened, and warm. So, the one that allows the air to be filtered properly are the hairs inside the nose. So, this, the, the, the hairs inside the nose filter large particles as part of the incoming air. Now, the one that moistened and warmed the air, okay, are the component of the nasal cavity, okay? So, when we say cavity, that is just a space uh, found in an organ. So, that is being moistened and warmed again by inner nasal cavity and sinuses. So, you notice there... Uh, mucus being produced on the walls of the nasal cavity which moistened and warm the air and also aside from that the the mucus produced on that cavity or the nasal cavity and sinuses it also uh, catches dust particles na hindi na filter na uh, hairs uh, in the nose Okay. Second organ is the pharynx. Pharynx is commonly called as the throat. So that is found at the back of our mouth. So this serves as passageway for both air and food. Third organ is the larynx. Commonly called as the vocal box or the voice box. So 
this is the reason why as you you gonna recall one of the functions uh, provided earlier for the respiratory system it allows us to produce sound the reason behind it is the larynx so the vocal cords in uh, in the larynx contains two highly elastic folds of tissue and when muscles pull the vocal cords together as air moving in or as air moving between these vocal cords it causes no the air causes it to vibrate and produce sounds diba remember when you are in your grade 8 physics uh topic uh, in order for us to produce sound there should be vibration and to further test that concept you can actually place one hand on your throat okay uh, i mean rather on your neck and you would see if you speak you will feel sudden vibration happening right so again larynx is the reason why we can produce sound okay we can communicate to one another next is trachea trachea is just an air passageway trachea is commonly called as the windpipe so it blends warms and moistens incoming air why so the walls of trachea it has cilia and it produces mucus cilia or when we spell it c i l i a this cilia is hair like projections found on the walls of the trachea that continuously trapped inhaled particles which again maintains or allows the lung tissue to stay healthy at all times okay so from pharynx to larynx up to trachea always remember that it they produces mucus and this mucus trapped particles and these particles naman from what we've learned can can be swallowed but wag laging ugaliin that you swallow that or spit out okay now going back to the only external organ which is the nose uh, i mentioned earlier that it filters large particles now if you clean your nose you would see naman the 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 indicator that uh, the nose really filters the incoming air because you would see booger okay na uh, nire remove natin from our nose next is the bronchi bronchi are the two large tubes in the chest cavity so one bronchi which is the, the, the plural, plural uh, singular form rather is bronchus so one bron uh, one bronchus leads to one lung okay so this is also a passageway of uh, air now next organ is the lungs lungs are considered to be the major organs for respiration so if you are asked to identify what organ is responsible for respiration process the answer uh, is the lungs or the lungs rather now inside the lungs now you would see there okay once you dissect that longitudinally and uh, you would see there uh, branch-like structure and these branch-like structures are known to be bronchioles these are just a smaller version of the bronchi so from bronchi uh, connection of that smaller uh, branch-like structure uh, is known to be bronchioles you would see primary bronchioles secondary bronchioles tertiary bronchioles so on and so forth until such time that it decreases the size okay so Bronchi and bronchioles, mga anak, always remember, uh, these two organs are surrounded by smooth muscles. And these smooth muscles, so they contract as well as they relax in times, uh, in times to simply regulate the size of air passageways. Now, again, bronchi and bronchioles are pa air passageway. Kaya nga sila considered to be conducting zone, part of conducting zone. Now, at the end of the bronchioles, diba sabi ni sir, there are 
primary, secondary, tertiary, so on and so forth until such time na uh, it reaches this endpoint and this is still found inside the lungs. This endpoint are known to be alveoli. A singular form of it, it is alveolus. So this is the site for gaseous exchange. So this is different from uh, the lungs in a sense that lungs are known to be the organs for respiration. Alveoli, in the other hand, uh, is the site or site for gaseous exchange. So this is commonly called as ursacs. So if we're gonna describe it, so this is just same with bunches of grapes and alveoli are surrounded by capillaries. So this particular section for lungs and alveoli, we're going to have separate discussion for that as I uh, talk regarding gaseous exchange. So remember, alveoli is the site for gases exchange. So alveoli or this ersacs or group in clusters, kaya nga nasabi ko like bunches of grapes. Now let's try to summarize everything uh, here. So you've noticed we have this illustration. Let's try to trace the flow of air inside our body. So here, air enters the respiratory system from nose. From what you've learned earlier in this organ, air incoming air is being filtered, warmed, and moistened. It moves to the nasal cavity, moving to the pharynx or the throat. Next to that is it moves to larynx. Moving next to trachea. You've noticed another labeled part in this illustration which is known to be epiglottis. So this is found between larynx and trachea. Fun fact about it, this is just a tissue and the work of this tissue is to cover the, the entrance of trachea or the windpipe. So, kaya nga sinasabi ng mother natin, do not talk when your mouth is full so that hindi magulat si epiglottis what to do. So, it the, the epiglottis works for closing or opening the, the entrance of the, the windpipe. Okay? Kapag nagsasalita tayo or when we talk while eating, so magugulan lang si epiglottis and there's a big chance that the food you swallow will move directly to the windpipe. Okay? So, uh, epiglottis covers again the windpipe so that the food that we swallow will go directly to the esophagus. Now, after air moves to trachea, it will go through the, the bronchi. So, still, put it in your mind that air is being filtered and warm in order to maintain the the lung tissue healthy at all times so after that it moves air moves inside the lungs and it goes through the bronchioles and at the end of that it will reach as this uh, bunches of grapes like structures known to be the alveoli so this is the site for uh, gaseous exchange so when we uh, enlarge this part when we magnify it we can see this like this structure okay so again air moves from lung uh, from nose rather going to pharynx larynx trachea bronch uh, bronchi bronchioles and Alveoli, alveoli, bronchioles and alveo, alveoli is found inside the lungs. So hopefully you learn a lot from this discussion. And let's try to revisit again this think about it question. So the question is why medical personnel examine whether the unconscious victim from an accident is still breathing? So from what we had at the beginning of this video recorded discussion, this will only be answered through the help, help of the concepts discussed. So in this case, what I want you to do is to put your answers or your explanation about this question uh, on the chat uh, on the comment section below. Make sure you put your name, likewise your section, so that the teachers can see 
if you provide a correct explanation or not. This is for additional points for your recitation. So that's that's it for this video recording discussion. Hopefully you learn something and keep on subscribing, like and sharing this video.